Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create an interactive area chart. So I was looking on the web and saw this particular chart on the Pew Research Center. And it had this type of chart where this essentially was an area chart. Uh, and there was some interactivity. You can select the, the year and it would kind of adjust it in kind of slow motion. And it also let you animate it. Right, so that, that's the animation part there. So I'll show you how to, how to create something similar like this, maybe not the animation part, but maybe a little bit more with the interactive pieces. So let's see how we can do that. So here we are in Excel. I've got some dummy data here, and I've got two, two items, item ones and item two. And you can see here we have these slicers. These are called slicers that give you some way to interact with your chart. So I can bring this out from Q2 to the beginning of Q2 the, to the end of, well, the beginning of Q2 to the other beginning of Q2 here. You can see that it changes. Or if I didn't want to do quarters, I want to do months, I can adjust that. And when we adjust it, the, the, the slide here, excuse me, the chart here adjusts accordingly, right? Also, if I just wanted to see item one, I could click on that and I see item one. Or if I just want to see item two, I can click that and just see item two. Let me clear the filter here. So this is actually fairly easy to create. Let me show you how this is done. So here I have the data which source the, the particular chart. I'm going to just copy this data. Let's select this column, control C to copy, bring in a new worksheet and this paste. I'll just paste the values here. All right. You can notice if I just paste values, these particular dates, they don't show up as dates, they show up like numbers. And in Excel, dates are serial numbers. And just changing the display will change it into a regular date. So you can see that that date is there, right? So what I want to do is I want to turn this into a pivot table. So I go to insert, go to pivot table. Uh, it's kindly selected or kindly, Excel has kindly figured out, though, this is my range from A1 to C401. And let's put the pivot table on a new worksheet. Let's try something new. And we'll put it here. The date I put into the rows column, the item I put into the columns, and the quantity I put here. Now, also in Excel 2016, when you do this with dates, it thinks that you want to aggregate them up to years and quarters, and I don't really need that, so I'm going to take off the years. Actually, that's okay, but that, you can see that Excel does that for you. It automatically does that for you. It aggregates them up, but you can uh, take it away if you don't want it. If you don't want to show that, you just have to remove it. Right, that, that, that goes and that goes, and now we have our dates there. Um, so what Excel has done, it's, it's it essentially grouped them. And so it's also grouped them into months, and you don't see those dates, right? You don't see the dates. Let me move this over here, sheet six here. You don't see those dates that, that are here. And you can take away that feature, or you can um, ungroup them. So you just right click and go to ungroup, and now you, we can see our dates, right? So that's, that's, that's the, one of the quirks of or features of Excel here in 2016, it does that for you. Now with this, I don't need the grand total, so I'll just right click and remove grand total. And I probably don't need a grand total at the bottom here. There's probably one at the bottom here. Let's see, yeah. Uh, another way to do it is I can just click in here and go to analyze, oops, design, and grand totals off for rows and columns. So it's gonna get rid of that. So I'm gonna go under the pivot table uh, design, oops, analyze, and create a pivot chart. And the pivot chart I want is going to be the area chart. So I click on my area chart here, click OK, and I have the beginnings of my interactive area chart. Uh, by default, it also creates these particular fields, so I can say hide all these field buttons because I don't really need them because I just want the slicers. So slicers are these neat little features that Excel has I believe it started out in Excel 2013 and Excel 2016, it gave you the slicers where you can add a timeline. You can add slicers for your other attributes, but in 2016, I think it gave you the timeline slicer. So this I can add for, oops, not my dates. Let me delete that. That I wanted to add, let's delete this. Press delete. The date I want to add as a timeline. Uh, and let's move this down here. And the items, right click, I want to add as a slicer. So now I have my bases or my little buttons, when you think about it, for interactivity. 
I, I want to change that. Maybe make that not so big. Give it two columns. And so I can select one or the other. You can see now that I selected it, it would be either one item one or item two. I can I can clear the filter and both of them will show back up. Here I have my drop downs where I can use quarter, years, quarters, days, and months. So let's say if I did quarters and I move this to a more smaller range, you can see that I have this particular set of data here, or this, this, this chart that looked like earlier. Now also showed in the other one where there was some transparency where I can see like well what when one is over the other you can still see the other one and it kind of gave it a different color so in this particular example what we need to do is just get some transparency over the color here so this red color I can right click and go to fill I think I had red on that other one and I can also go to more fill colors actually and decrease or increase the transparency I think that was at 40 percent click OK and now you notice we have that nice little transparency where I can see where, even though it covers it over here, you can see where the other data or the other series comes through. So this adds some interactivity to your area chart. It's a nice little feature with the timeline feature and also the slicer feature on pivot tables in Excel. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.